And finally, these strange, unusual um, <laughs> book review of the day. Um, Simon, could you please buy another book about sort of um, interactions between black and white people and black cultural history? <laughs> and, <laughs> and commentary on it. We've now seen that book more times than I've seen my seen hot dinners. And considering I'm quite chubby, that's a lot of hot dinners. Um <laughs> You've now got round it and round and round and round on it. Yes, it has mistakes in it and errors, and it's not a particularly well-written book. I'd actually agree with you there. It's not not what I'd call a top-flight book by any means or any stretch of the imagination, but you keep holding it up and totemizing as if it's the only book about the issue and using it as a kind of totemic weapon to, to sort of hold up. It gets quite silly after a bit. There are plenty of other books that are far better written go and find some of them also you cannot sort of hold a book up but why i'm no longer talking about race and grumble about someone <laughs> talking about race when you are finding a channel that is now a, well over three thousand videos grumbling about naughty black people because that's a great percentage of what your videos are grumbling about naughty black people there's no other way of saying it. There's simply no, no other way of putting it. Quite frankly, it's I could put it in in far more elevated terms. I could talk about it in in high flow in terms or literary theory or, but it is basically just a a, a bashing shop. The the bit about rioting was was hilarious. Um. Personally, for me, I thought Simon Milligan knocked you down with with this lovely comment he left. The Gordon Wrights left anywhere between 300 and 700 Londoners dead. Um, there must have been a load of Caribbeans involved in those, or Africans, according to the Mr. Webb version of history. I doubt Africans have anything to teach Europeans about how to stage a riot. It's also worth looking at the anti-conscription riots in New York in 1863, which killed 1,200 people and saw USN Navy gunboats firing on the city from the Hudson to restore order. Black, brown, yellow, white, American, African, and European, we really are the same, Mr. Webb. I wonder how many of the baddies some of the people who follow on this channel and can want to come and believe otherwise. What made me laugh about that whole video was the idea the the, the people of Eritrea vote uh, imported the idea of burning out... A police cars. That that was a spectator sport in Northern Ireland for years. It still is. People burning out a police car. Go and look up the amount of videos of young teenage boys doing that with petrol bombs. They're endless. I don't think they all arrived from Eritrea. I think they probably grew up on the Falls Road in the Shankill. There is really some absolute cobbler's talk there. Absolute nonsense. The idea that uh, to have a riot, we the Eritreans had to be imported, that only Eritreans could do it, that they're somehow inherently less civilised than us. What's going on there is, unfortunately, and I, people bringing a grudge fight from back home from a, a nasty civil war and bringing it over here. Now, that they shouldn't be bringing here. I would agree with that. That should be kept back home and isn't, a, isn't the business of people in The Hague or indeed in in London, where it's popped up occasionally as well. But it's happened with other civil wars where people have emigrated and bought bits of them over and fought and squaffled. It's got no, it's nothing unique to black people or inherent to black people just because they are black. Please also go and buy another book. I'll get you one out of a library if you like. If, if, because if I see that book again, I'm going to start thinking, is the only book you own on this subject.